Welcome back, everybody, to Funky Star TV. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Now, uh, I want to take this little opportunity to thank uh, those of you now in the full of Funky Star TV. Thank you all very much. Okay. Um, in this particular segment, I want us to take a look on uh, this particular headline. This news just to come out, and the word is buzzing as uh, uh, the ICC issued. Uh, arrest warrant for Benjamin Netanyahu and Yov Gallant. And in the European part of the world, Sweden, they are now calling their people to prepare for the war against Russia. In Germany, the same thing. Uh, now, the German people already entered European Union. And uh, everything is going crazy. And as soon as this news come out, some people, they criticize the International Criminal Court for their arrest warrant for uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and his colleague Wemby Gallant. Some people they condemn the move and some people they support the move. So the world is going gaga, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what is really happening in the political space generally in the world because uh, as you can see today a lot of people are talking about world war three a lot of people both people from europe both people in the uh, middle east both people in America, both people in uh, every part of the world, ladies and gentlemen, people are sounding this alarm of Third World War. Remember recently, the Ukrainian government, they striked deep inside Russia with some American weapons. And President Putin himself already warned that if NATO people or the this group of people, um, Iranian people, if they try to use any foreign weapon, that particular country that they used their weapon, hmm? they will strike that country with nuclear weapon. So, uh, a lot of things going on. And um, this is crazy. Today, I said make I come out, make all of us take a look on how American people think about this ICC arrest warrant issued for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. But before we go into that, we have to remember that America is one of the closest ally to Israel. The headline reads, U.S. condemns ICC arrest warrants for Benjamin Netanyahu and Yov Gallant. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
we are not supporting anybody we are not here to preach against or in favor of their war so we are not warmongers and we don't want trouble we don't want war all we want is peace okay peace across the globe all right uh -huh. so we are not here to preach against what anybody is doing what russia is doing or what iraq is doing or what iran is doing or what uh, um uh, vladimir zelensky is doing or what uh, the ukrainians are doing we are not here to support or to preach against whatever they are doing they are doing it because you know they want to do whatever that they are doing so uh -huh. president joe biden has sharply criticized the international criminal court icc for issuing arrest warrants against israeli's prime minister benjamin netanyahu and former defense minister yuf gallant The court's decision was based on accusations that the two Israeli leaders were responsible for war crimes, including the use of starvation as a method of warfare against Gaza's civilian population. The ICC's action has sparked a strong response from the United States of America, with Biden reiterating his unwavering support for Israel's right to defend itself against Hamas. Biden condemned the court's decision, emphasizing that it undermines Israel's security and its ability to protect its citizens from ongoing threats. He also emphasized concern that the ICC's involvement in this case could set a dangerous precedent, undermining Israel's sovereignty. According to Times of Israel, the U.S. president's stance was echoed by key political figures in Washington, including incoming Senate Majority Leader John Tone, who has threatened to impose sanctions on the ICC if it proceeds with its warrants. In response to the ICC's finding, Israel, which accused Israel of depriving Gaza citizens' population of basic supplies, Netanyahu's office dismissed the charges, calling them anti-Semitic and politically motivated. Israel urges that the court has no jurisdiction over its action and that the warrants represent a biased and unjust effort to delegitimize the nation. The ongoing diplomatic rift underscores the complexities of international justice and its intersection with national defense. So, um, who are the members of ICC? Ladies and gentlemen, who are the members of this ICC when then they always they talk about? The members of the International Criminal Court, ICC, are the countries that have ratified the Rome Statute, which are known as states, parties, 
Africa, Asia Pacific, Eastern Europe, Latin America and Caribbean, Western Europe and other states. Okay, these are the people that mix up this ICC. So, um, a lot of people have reacted over this news. Hmm? Some are supporting the Israel people, while some are supporting the uh, Hamas people and the ICC people. So, but in this particular platform, we stand 100% neutral in any of these issues. So, this one now for the Netanyahu and uh, the International Criminal Court people. Now, big fight too, but make will not go cause the people of the world Third World War. We are on our own. Uh -huh. The only thing when on tell us we say on our go be uh, leaders and uh, we accepted it. We are not fighting against on our leadership, but make on our leave the world in peace. Make on our leave the world in peace. They ha the world have to be in peace, ladies and gentlemen. The world have to be. The army people now, they have come to react about the arrest of Samuel Ekman in Finland. Samuel Ekman, the arrest of Samuel Ekman in Finland. Make we take a look, see what in the CDS, they tell all of us about the arrest. Whether this arrest now true or false, make we see what in the gentleman when be the Nigerian CDS. They tell all of us about someone like man. The chief defense staff respond to arrest of someone like man. The chief of defense staff, CDS, General Chris Musa, has expressed optimism that the recent arrest of Samuel Ekman the self-proclaimed Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic government in SI is a significant step towards his extradition to Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't tell on her before when I went to support someone like me. I tell on her, say, government, then go catch this guy, you. then go send this guy home. Some IPOB people, I don't know whether they be real IPOB or they call those guys fake uh, IPOB. Those guys are online IPOB members. Only online I did operate. And this this group of people then get mouth like never seen before. I don't come out here many times. One on a me on a send message to Ekman. Say man, government day after them. Now look at what Musa they tell us here. The C D, I think the CDS. Say now if a step forward to bring the self acclaimed prime minister of the Biafran land, Samuel Ekman, to Nigeria. So, I will come back to this particular headline with the next video so that we finish the story as it unfolds. One love, everybody. One love.